How to Run a Faster 100M, The Complete Sprinter's Guide. The 100M is a race of power and explosiveness. Learning how to sprint effectively is no easy feat. The greatest sprinters can cover the distance in under 10 seconds. It is incredibly difficult to achieve the times of the world's elite athletes. Being naturally quick is not enough to succeed. Dedicated training and specific practice are needed. But don't threat, this guide will take you through how to run the 100M, and will lead you to achieve better times in the event. 100 meter training. Warm up. The goal during your warm up is to facilitate faster muscle contractions and help prepare you for your training. You need to make sure you get lots of blood flowing so that oxygen is transported to the active muscles contracting during movement. Warm up routine. Five minutes of cardio. Start your warm up with five minutes of light cardio. Our sprinters usually opt for jogging around the track but cardio machines, treadmill, rowing machine, etc. are fine too. Dynamic stretching and mobility drills. Avoid static stretching when the muscles are cold. Focus on dynamic movements and active stretching. Strength training. Strength sessions are an important aspect of training used to maximize your sprinting potential. Strength training doesn't solely involve lifting weights in the gym. We usually have two strength training sessions a week consisting of one explosive strength training session and one reactive strength training session. Race preparation. First, let's go through what you need to do to prepare for race day. There is often a lot of waiting around on event days, so this will make sure that you're prepared physically and mentally in time. It also gives you a chance to use the bathroom, make any last-minute preparations, and get to the athlete waiting area. Your actual warm-up should be the same as the warm-up you perform during training, minus the technique drills. Setting up the starting blocks. When you are setting up your starting blocks you want to make sure your setup is the same every single time. You don't want to vary or guess your block positions. Consistency is the key. How to find your pedal positions. Use Pre-race routine. Once the blocks are in place, I like my athletes to go through the same routine. They do a couple of accelerations from the blocks, 2 to 3, and increase the distance of each acceleration from around 10.30 m. Each individual athlete has their own routine that helps get them to relax and get in the zone. This can be some... That's why practice during training is so important. To get into the blocks, start out in front on all fours and coil yourself back into them like a spring waiting to pop. Don't place your entire foot on the pedals. You want the tip of the forefoot to be in contact with the ground as demonstrated in the picture below. Place your hands just shoulders. Keep a straight line through the hips, spine, and head so that everything remains in a neutral position. Don't lean forward so that you are over the line. This will take the weight off your feet and transfers it to your hands. You want the tension in your feet so that you can push hard off the pedals and explode from the blocks. The acceleration fatal from the ground. You should be able to make a straight line from the foot that was in the front pedal, through the body, and to the head as shown in the image below. Your calm, center of mass, should be in front of your foot during the first few steps while you drive low. It also puts unnecessary pressure on the hamstrings which could cause an injury. Note, this often occurs due to poor positioning in the blocks, or the athlete trying to stand upright too quickly. The transition phase. During your acceleration, you will begin to build momentum and increase your velocity. Try and increase the length of your stride with every step. The next task is to make an efficient transition to an upright horizontal sprinting position. Maintain a wide but comfortable stride length. Try and stay relaxed. This means no hunching of the shoulders or clenching of the jaw. High levels of tension and or break your race. Deceleration is unavoidable, but good sprinting technique. 100 meter sprinter training templates. Training examples. 100 strength training session. Day three, three times 110 M divided by 90 M divided by 70 M divided by 80 M harness runs with six minute recovery. Day two, strength training session. Day three, three times 60 M divided by 80 M divided by 100 M divided by 120 M with a walk back with six eighths minute recovery. 100 meter sprint training, week three, 100 M divided by 70 M divided by 40 M times two with
Thanks for watching how to run a faster 100M guide. Please watch our other videos on our channel, Sports Circle 345.